Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to talk today about the main thing that blocks us from living the life that we dream of and from being able to manifest all the things that really connect to our heart. And in my opinion, that is allowing. The biggest problem nearly all of us have is actually allowing that life to flow. How many times have you met somebody or an opportunity has come up or, you know, you've just, something has come into your life and you've thought, wow, <coughs> you know, wow, this is amazing. But then it goes. If we were just able to flow and we were able to allow and we were good at that, then we would actually just be able to keep these things. They wouldn't leave our life. They wouldn't kind of pull out of our life all the time. And we wouldn't be in this kind of, wow, life's up, life's down, life's up, life's down. All of the down is when we're just not allowing things to flow. And that's because of trauma, childhood wounds, um, fears, blocks, triggers, all these things that make us jump in and get in the way of our life unfolding in the most perfect way and just allowing it to unfold. You know, if I take, for example, let's say I want to grow my YouTube channel and I, you know, visualize that I've got 2000 subscribers or what have you. And then I check every hour, have I got 2000 subscribers yet? And then all the thoughts come up, oh, what if people just don't like my content? What if it's just not going to do very well? This is a really good example of where that's not allowing. Allowing is just having fun, creating content because I love it. And then, you know, just having this visualization, it's going to hit 2000 subscribers and just letting go of it and just enjoying the process. And how difficult can that be sometimes, you know, when you really think about it or in a relationship, you meet someone, it's amazing. It flows, it gels, everything's great. And that's because you're not really too focused on it. You don't have all these fears come up. Not often, anyway. You don't generally have them come up in the first few days or the few, we few weeks. But then you get all these obtrusive thoughts come in. You know, does he like me? Am I attractive enough for him? Am I interested enough? Does he want a serious relationship? Where is this going? And we start to basically just block the flow. And this just happens all the time. We block the allowance of all the great things that are meant to come into our life. We just block them with our fears. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's part of life. That's part of why we're here. That's part of what we're here to do. That's, you know, how we're here to grow. And that's how we learn. And that's how we become more of our true self. But when you really sit back and you look, you realize that nearly everything that we don't manifest or things that are not going well in our lives. It's it's us. We're just stepping in the way. We're, we're getting in the way. We don't actually have to manifest anything. All we really have to do is stop getting in the way of what we do want to manifest. And we have to stop checking up all the time on our progress. And, you know, is it happening yet? Is it happening yet? Let me check my phone. Has he messaged yet? You know, all this stuff blocks flow. And then it very often, the fears start to outweigh the flow and then you just go away from that thing completely. Um, so if there's one thing that we need to learn as humans, it's just to allow and it's so, it sounds so easy, doesn't it? Like it should be so easy just to allow something to unfold <laughs> and to fulfill what it's, you know, what it's shown up in our lives to, to show us, it should be so easy to allow that. But the ego just dives in, jumps in, gets in the way and the fear, you know, fear is the opposite of love. And most of these things at the core, they come down to fear. So the first thing we can do to help to manifest is to address our fears. Like if we, if we are worried that they're going to leave, like why, what's the root of that? Why are we really afraid someone's going to leave? What does that bring up in ourselves? Surely if someone's not meant for your life path, they, they, you know, it's okay for them to leave, but there's something that's triggering inside of you that is afraid of being abandoned or afraid that you're not good enough or there's, some, there's something inside of you that has fear that feels the need to basically interfere and constantly poke <laughs> poke at life and poke at manifestations rather than simply allowing them to unfold. 
And that is one of the main things to work on, in my opinion, as souls in this experience, is to just let life unfold, <laughs> rather than to constantly check up on it all the time. You know what they say, um, a watched clock never ticks. <laughs> and I think that is so true, especially in terms of manifestation. So I understand we can't all just let go. I understand that you can't always just put something out there and not think about it again, or just enjoy the moment or get focused on life. But it is a practice and it's something that you will get better and better at over time. And then we can allow things to flow in with way more ease. All right, I hope everyone is good and speak soon.